All right, guys. So I was working on something with Dot Loop uh, a week or two ago. I had uploaded in Dot Loop a um, transaction checklist to help keep you on pace and help help keep you on guide with uh, every transaction that you have going on, whether it be a buyer or a seller. And uh, I mean, look, we're trying to be as mobile as possible and as virtual as possible. So I went in and added those as task lists up here. So I want to show you how to get to that in your transaction. So you have your loop created. This way, it's going to enable you to keep track on what needs to be done dates specifically and parties that that task is assigned to as you um, put more put more parties into uh, into your loop so click on the transaction that you're working on uh, I'll just do this for reference right now and so you have all your documents and you have your contract folder you have a listing folder whatever folder you're gonna have for all your documents you have all your parties that are in here as well uh, and the more parties you have in here, the better it's going to be, the easier it's going to be. Now, when you come down to tasks, you're going to go to load template, click on that, and you're going to go to and check off closing checklist, okay? So that when you add the closing checklist, now everything down at the bottom is going to be everything that is on those closing checklists that I gave you. Uh, and that takes it from beginning to end, starting with the attorney review all the way up to closing. I think I actually need to, need to add a couple more things. But now in your loop, you now have everything that you need to make sure that you're addressing for your contract for your closing so you're not missing anything okay now i want to show you a couple of things with these as well uh, you can move some of these around if you want to move some of the orders around to specify for you that's fine you can do that just do a little drag and drop uh, however you want to do it and that's completely okay all right let me drop that back down to there so so you have the home inspection there's a timeline you need to order it uh, you can assign it to a specific party to make sure it's you and assign a due date. So let's just say the due date on here is uh, tomorrow. I'll check that off for tomorrow and you'll see the date up here of June 5th and I wanna assign that task to me. Uh, so I will go down to where I can assign it and I will assign that task to myself. Now let's just say I have the term, or you know what, let me go down to seller processing order. I wanna do a due date on that but I want it, it's not today or tomorrow, this week, next week, I want a specific date, okay? So I'll go down here, check off specific date, and let's just say it's the 10th, okay? So now you have that assigned for June 10th, and again, I wanna assign that to myself. Uh, I'll go down, check off myself. So what's gonna happen is that when these tasks are due, you're going to get an email, you're gonna get a notification, that these that that specific task is due to help keep you on pace now once that is done you just go over and check it off and you'll be all set so what's going to happen too to help keep you in order right now all these are in black uh, when you have something that is done it becomes shaded gray if you get past the due date on a specific task that is due this will go to red so if you're going in and checking your loop every day to make sure you're staying on point for your transaction, you will get notified again in your email, but you'll be able to go into here and check off everything that it is that you got to do uh, to get it successfully to closing without missing any steps. And if you're behind on something, it will come up as red. And again, you will get emails and uh, should be getting text notifications depending on your settings uh, about what tasks are due that day. Um, I think this is going to help you guys a lot more. I think it'll be a lot better than using a paper format because, again, we want to be as virtual as possible. So um, start using this. If you have any questions on it, please give me a call and let me know. But I really think that this is going to help you guys out. All right. So let me know any questions you have on it, and uh, I'll see you guys later.